What is important about that finding is that it raises a big question mark over our entire notion of the prehistory of the world. With 130,000 years of human prehistory, of which only the last 13,000 years have been documented because of the archaeological dogma that there was no point in looking deeper. Um, and and uh, goodness knows what was happening here. Imagine diving into the depths of the ocean, only to stumble upon the remnants of an ancient world lost to time. The Bimini Road in the Bahamas and the Yonaguni Monument off the coast of Japan are two such mysterious sites that challenge our understanding of history. Could these submerged structures be the handiwork of advanced pre-flood civilizations, or are they simply nature's remarkable creations? Join us as we delve into the mysteries of these underwater marvels, exploring the theories and controversies that surround them, and uncover the secrets that lie beneath the waves. The Bimini Road, an underwater rock formation off the coast of Bimini Island in the Bahamas, has long captivated historians, archaeologists and enthusiasts of ancient mysteries. This intriguing formation is often linked to the legend of Atlantis and is thought by some to be evidence of an advanced pre-flood civilization. The Bimini Road consists of a series of rectangular limestone blocks that appear to be deliberately placed, creating what looks like a road or wall beneath the ocean's surface. The Bimini Road was first discovered in 1968 by a team led by Dr. J. Manson Valentine, a marine biologist and archaeologist. During an underwater expedition near North Bimini Island, Dr. Valentine, along with Jacques Mayel and Robert Angove, documented the formation noting its peculiar arrangement and the striking regularity of the stone blocks. Dr. Valentine published his findings, describing the Bimini Road as a structure consisting of large, flat, rectangular stones, some measuring up to four meters in length. The stones were arranged in a linear fashion, forming a path approximately 800 meters long. This arrangement led to speculations about its origin and purpose, the Bimini Road is composed primarily of limestone, a common sedimentary rock in the region. The blocks are roughly rectangular and vary in size, with some measuring as large as 4 meters in length, 3 meters in width and 1 meter in thickness. The stones are arranged in a haphazard yet seemingly deliberate pattern, leading to theories that they were placed by human hands rather than formed through natural processes. Several theories have been proposed to explain the origin and purpose of the Bimini Road, some geologists argue that it is a natural formation, resulting from the erosion of beach rock. They suggest that the rectangular blocks are a product of natural processes, such as the fracturing and erosion of limestone by wave action and tidal forces. This theory posits that the formation is an example of beach rock, a type of limestone that forms in the intertidal zone. As sea levels fluctuated over millennia, these rocks could have fractured and shifted, creating the appearance of a man-made structure. On the other hand, some researchers believe that the Bimini Road could be the remains of an ancient harbor or breakwater, constructed by an advanced pre-Columbian civilization to serve as a docking area for boats or ships. The most famous and controversial theory links the Bimini Road to the lost city of Atlantis. Proponents of this idea argue that the formation is evidence of a highly advanced civilization that existed before a catastrophic flood event. This theory was fueled by Edgar Case, a renowned American psychic, who predicted that remnants of Atlantis would be found near Bimini in the late 1960s. Since its discovery, the Bimini Road has been the subject of numerous investigations and research expeditions. In the early 1970s, British researcher Harold Wilkins conducted dives and studies at the site, reporting additional stone structures and artifacts that further fueled speculation about its origins. Around the same time, Dr. Dmitry Rebikov, a pioneer in underwater photography, captured extensive photographic evidence of the formation, providing detailed visual documentation that aided in the analysis and interpretation of the site. In recent decades, advanced technologies such as sonar mapping and underwater excavation have been employed to study the Bimini Road. These surveys have provided more detailed information about the formation's dimensions, composition and alignment, Geological studies have focused on analyzing the limestone blocks and the surrounding seabed, with researchers seeking to determine whether the stones were naturally formed or shaped by human activity. Despite ongoing research, the Bimini Road remains a topic of controversy and debate. Many scientists and archaeologists remain skeptical of the claims that the formation is man-made, 
arguing that the evidence points more convincingly toward a natural geological formation. Nevertheless, alternative theories continue to be explored, with some researchers advocating for more extensive underwater excavations to uncover potential artifacts or further structural elements that could shed light on the formation's true nature. Regardless of its origin, the Bimini Road holds significant historical interest. It has become a focal point for discussions about ancient civilizations, lost cities, and the mysteries of human history. Moving on to another underwater structure, the Yonaguni Monument is one such intriguing formation. Located off the southern coast of Yonaguni Island, part of the Ryukyu Islands in Japan, this underwater rock formation has captivated the attention of archaeologists, geologists, and enthusiasts of ancient mysteries due to its striking resemblance to a stepped pyramid or a complex of terraces and platforms. Discovered by divers in the 1980s, the monument has sparked intense debate regarding its origins and purpose. Some believe it to be the remnants of an ancient city submerged after a catastrophic event, possibly linked to a pre-flood civilization. The Yonaguni Monument was discovered in 1986 by Kihachiro Aratake, a local diver and director of the Yonaguni Cho Tourism Association. While exploring the seabed near Yonaguni Island, Aratake stumbled upon a massive, mysterious structure with remarkably straight edges and flat surfaces. His discovery quickly garnered attention, and further dives were conducted to explore the site in greater detail. After the initial discovery, a series of surveys and exploratory dives were carried out by Japanese marine geologist Masaki Kimura and his team. Dr. Kimura, from the University of the Ryukyus, has been one of the most vocal proponents of the theory that the Yonaguni Monument is a human-made structure. Over the years, his team has documented numerous features that suggest artificial construction. The Yonaguni Monument is composed primarily of fine-grained sandstone and mudstone, which are common sedimentary rocks in the region. The formation is notable for its geometric shapes, including flat terraces, right-angled corners and straight walls. The structure measures approximately 150 meters in length, 40 meters in width, and 27 meters in height. It consists of multiple layers or steps, reminiscent of a stepped pyramid, with some areas featuring what appear to be stairs or platforms. The monument includes large, flat terraces, some connected by what look like staircases, varying in size and elevation to create a stepped appearance. Additionally, some parts of the monument feature depressions and channels resembling water basins or pools, leading to speculation about their potential use in ancient times. Certain sections include upright stone pillars and walls with sharp angles, which further contribute to the theory of human intervention. The origins and purpose of the Yonaguni Monument have been the subject of much debate and speculation. Some geologists argue that the monument is a natural formation, resulting from tectonic activity and natural erosion processes. They suggest that the geometric shapes are a result of the natural fracturing and weathering of the sandstone. The formation's straight edges and flat surfaces could be attributed to the natural jointing of sandstone, where vertical and horizontal fractures create block-like structures that resemble human-made features. On the other hand, proponents of the human-made theory, such as Dr. Masaki Kimura, believe that the monument is the remains of an ancient civilization that existed more than 10,000 years ago. They argue that the precise angles and regular shapes are unlikely to have been formed solely by natural processes. This theory posits that the Yonaguni monument was part of a city or complex submerged after a catastrophic event, such as a massive earthquake or rising sea levels at the end of the last ice age. Some researchers have also explored the possibility that the Yonaguni monument is connected to local legends and myths. The Ryukyu Islands have a rich folklore that includes stories of ancient civilizations and sunken cities. Since its discovery, the Yonaguni Monument has been the focus of numerous investigations and research efforts. Extensive diving expeditions have been conducted to map and document the monument. Divers have used underwater photography and videography to capture detailed images of the structure. Advanced technologies such as 3D modeling and sonar mapping have been employed to create detailed digital representations of the monument, helping researchers analyze its features and structure. Geological studies have focused on analyzing the composition and formation of the sandstone and mudstone. Researchers aim to determine whether the features observed could be attributed to natural geological processes or human activity. 
Studies of erosion patterns and sediment deposition have been conducted to understand the natural forces that may have shaped the monument. Researchers have also explored the historical and cultural context of the Ryukyu Islands to find potential connections between the Yonaguni Monument and ancient civilizations, examining artifacts and other archaeological sites in the region. The Yonaguni Monument remains a topic of controversy and debate within the scientific community. Many geologists and archaeologists are skeptical of the claim that the monument is a human-made structure. They argue that the evidence points more convincingly toward a natural geological formation and caution against drawing conclusions without more definitive proof. Despite the skepticism, alternative theories continue to be explored. Proponents of the human-made theory call for more extensive underwater excavations and research to uncover potential artifacts or further structural elements that could shed light on the monument's true nature. Regardless of its origin, the Yonaguni Monument holds significant cultural and historical interest. It has become a focal point for discussions about ancient civilizations, lost cities, and the mysteries of human history.